Welcome. In this session I would like to explain to you how to define parameters in Windows PowerShell. You could write a script or a function that needs to accept some kind of input. This could be a name or something similar. You can tell Windows PowerShell to expect these kind of parameters, collect them from the command line and put their values into variables. And this is an easy way to deal with input. Before I start, I need to make sure that you have a full understanding of variables in PowerShell. If you are unsure how to use variables or you would like to refresh your memory, please view one of my earlier sessions. The simplest or easiest way to declare parameters is, is by using the param block. You can do this by writing param and then opening a round bracket. Then you declare your variables that you would like to use as parameters. Um, you separate them by commas and then close the bracket. If you would like your parameters to have specific data types, you can do this by declaring the data type plus the variable name. In this example, we are specifying that the parameter should be a string. To pass parameters to the script, you can specify the parameter name that you would like to pass to the script by just writing out the complete parameter name and then adding the parameter that you like. Alternately, you can truncate the parameter names. This lets you um, write fewer characters and will still work the same way. Or you could even completely leave away the um, parameter names and just type in the values that you would like to pass towards the script. If your script depends on parameters or you have parameters that have to be set, you can make these mandatory. This way the user will get prompted if he forgets to specify one of the parameters. To do so, we would use the parameter decorator in the square bracket and specify the mandatory to be true. You can also specify a certain order the parameters have to be in. If a parameter name is not specified, the position for the first value will be, will be position 0, the second value will have position 1. The switch parameter type can be used to pass a true or a false value to your script. By default, the switch is value is set to false, so if no value is specified, the parameter will be false. Okay, let's wrap this up with a couple of examples in Windows PowerShell. Okay, I've opened Windows PowerShell ISE to demonstrate to you how to pass parameters to your script. First up, I'm going to use the param block to specify my parameters. I do that by opening a bracket, I specify my variables, and I separate these variables with a comma. Alright, so if I execute my script and I pass my username and my home path, you will see that it'll take those values and do something with the values. Okay, next up, I'm just going to comment this block and uncomment the second one. Um, I'm going to specify or show to you how to um, specify certain data types. So in this case, I'm making both these a string. You would do that by specifying the string and then you specify the variable name. It's actually exactly the same as we did up, up at the top, except that you just specify and that it has to be a string. Um, this would make sense if you're using values or integers that have to be an integer. This way you can specify int32 and it has to be an integer. All right, so if I run my script again, this time I'm going to only use user, just to show you that it actually, that you can truncate the variable names. And for home, C colon, there you go. All right, let's comment this one again. Uncomment this. In this example, I want to show you mandatory fields. The way to do that is to use the parameter decorator. You do that 
and specify mandatory to true. This way the value has to be entered. Okay, now if we call a script again without any values, you will see that I get prompted to in input that value. I'm going to input the value, input the path, and it actually runs the script. Okay, up next I would like to demonstrate to you the positioning. So if I specify the username, oh sorry, to do that I have to do to use the position um, field and the parameter decorator in the de parameter decorator. So I'm making this field mandatory and I'm putting it in position one. This is the second value. Position zero is the first value. So if I, I would just like to show you. So if I get the write out the username and then the home path, you will notice that it's going to be inversed. So if I call that, specify my name. So without the names, um, and so I would actually do it this way. C colon and then the name. It outputs it with writing the name first and then the path, even though, well, especially because position one is the first value, position two is this, or position one is the second value. <clears throat> okay, up next I'm going to demonstrate to you how to use the switch. Ty uh, switch parameter type. Um, the switch parameter type is false by default. So if I just run my script without defining anything, it will be false. If I specify my is true value and I put a true variable in there, you will notice that it returns true. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the session and I'm looking forward to our next one.